Thank you for staying with us. You're watching Crossfire. As, as first-time governors fight to secure their second term, some of the counties are slowly changing to be the center of attraction for the 2022 elections. Kirinyaga County is changing to be one of the counties that will see a major showdown as political bigwigs in that county consolidate their base for the governor's position. Now, incumbent Ann Waiguru, who has given clearest indications yet of joining UDA party, will be facing a fierce contest from the likes of Nakenya party leader Martha Karua, Kirinyaga women representative Purity Ngirishi, as well as interior PS Karanja Kibisho. But why will the 2022 Kirinyaga 2022 uh, gubernatorial polls be a hotly contested race? KTN's Daniel Karaoke explains. It will be a matter of life and death in the 2022 gubernatorial race in various counties. Political temperatures in Kirinyaga County are slowly rising and causing sleepless nights to the gubernatorial aspirants in the county ahead of the much anticipated 2022 polls. The 2022 gubernatorial race has attracted several contestants who will battle it out. The incumbent Kirinyaga Governor Anwe Guru, Kirinyaga Woman Representative Wangoi Ngirishi, NAC Kenya Party Leader Martha Karua, former governor Joseph Ndavi and interior peers Karanja Kibicho, who recently said he was not interested in vying. In the 2017 election, Governor Anwe Guru battled it out with NAC Kenya party leader Martha Karua, trouncing her after she garnered 153,353 votes against Karua's 116,626 votes. Kirinyaga pioneer Governor Joseph Ndadi, who is seeking to recapture the seat, garnered 4,496 votes. Karua later filed a case challenging the outcome all the way to the East Africa Court of Justice. She has already warned her competitors to prepare for a comeback. Ata kule, kwetu Kirinyaga, ambao nimesema ni tasimama, tunatafuta uongozi bora. Lakini lasma tuchunge kura zetu. The battle lies more between the incumbent governor and the current woman representative Wango Ingrishi. With this declaration, it is evident that Waiguru may be headed to her rival's camp. Ngirishi, who has been campaigning for the UDA party in Kirinyaga County, the two even the same party will set the stage for high stakes UDA party nominations. If the people of Kirinyaga will decide that you're going to be the next governor well and good, I will sit back and support you. Lakini wakati tumeenda katika nominations, ni kushinda, ni kueke chini vizuri, na wewe. Critics say Ngirishi, a staunch deputy president William Ruto supporter, is likely to win favor in the eyes of DP Ruto, who at one point a few years back engaged in a war of words with Waiguru over the NYS scandal. Ruto castigated Waiguru back then. Was I a flower girl? No. I have demonstrated that I was not a flower girl. I have shown you my correspondence. You are a I was a cabinet secretary yes. and I executed my duties conscientiously. Give us a break, my friends. You know, Kingereza Mingi, Mazvania Catwalk, up around. Naniwazi pesa ya uma imepotea. Interior PS Karanja Kibicho following speculations that he would throw his heart in the ring in next year's polls has ruled out the possibility of vying in Kirinyaga. Kibicho and Girishi, who for some time have not been seeing eye to eye, have so far buried the hatchet, leaving Governor Waiguru guessing their next move. Tukasikizana sisi ni watu wa Kirinyaga. Na ni lazima tusikirizane, tufanye handshake, if they want to combine and campaign against, that's fair enough. I mean, it's a democracy. I think we encourage as many participants as possible to join the race. But it is the activities involving the gubernatorial aspirants that has left tongues wagging.
Mother Karua has been involved in unity meetings and has since been elected as the Mount Kenya Unity Forum spokesperson. She is being touted as one of the people who could be considered as a running mate. Karua is involved in negotiations of the future of the Mount Kenya region in the absence from the region of a presidential candidate as President Kenyatta retires. Waigoro, on the other hand, also claims that presidential aspirants are wooing her to be with their deputy. At the same time, Karanja Kibijo is currently controlling a ministry that is key and being taunted as one that will be largely involved in President Uru Kenyatta's succession politics. Kibicho has also been frequenting the county, inspecting state projects. The pulling of strings by the Kirenyaga bigwigs is a clear indication that it will not be a walk in the park for those seeking to be the county boss. If Oiguro and Karua scramble for the deputy president's position, Uman Repungrishi may be left to battle it out with others seeking the position. Naruto ambiwe, akichagua waigoro ae na imbu yake. Hata ya tutamukamba na hiyo urubaro na waigoro waka tumuruse kwa mkaro. Kirinyaga County as per IEBC 2017 register has 349,836 registered voters with the potential of an additional 84,763 voters in the upcoming mass voter registration. As time moves, eyes remain on the contenders to see how their tactics shift. Daniel Karioki, KTN News. That's certainly a political.